Today's quote comes from the Zen Pay Today calendar. My life is my practice. Ooh. That's by Ram Das. Big shout out to Ram. You know what I'm saying? I hope he's listening. Big shout out. What does that mean to you, JB? It's so poignant. People say that shit all the time. Poignant. Something you do in life for a reason that wind up preparing you for something else. You are fucking constantly in a state of practice and shit. Doing shit. Sometimes you do shit, Miles, and you don't have no idea that you're even fucking doing it. Are you sleepwalking or something? Oh, you'd be surprised how many motherfuckers learn shit sleepwalking. One time, I was sleepwalking, and I started playing chess and shit with myself, and I fucking beat myself. So you weren't really walking, you were just sitting. No, I was playing chess and sleep. I was sleep chessing. That's even a term. I don't think it is. Oh, here's the perfect analogy. Okay. It was a movie I grew up on, right? I used to love this fucking movie when I was at the school special movies and shit. You ever see after school specials? Oh, yeah. I used to fucking love them. They come on right after school. Exactly. I'd go home and watch the after school special. They had this one movie called James at 16. Let me tell you how my life is my practice. Sometimes your hand is forced to learn something. Mm -hmm. James at 16 was this movie about this kid. I don't know if you had a, a bladder problem, Miles, or grew up, you know, wet in the bed and shit like that. Were you a bed wetter? Yeah, I mean, at, at a certain point, I mean, I, I stopped eventually. Yeah. Some motherfuckers are diaper wetters, and then they, they move on. They don't wet shit no more. But some motherfuckers, it's like they're wearing a diaper for life. They can't stop fucking peeing. They can't stop it, Miles. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I mean, I'm not even going to fucking lie. I used to wet the bed. I didn't even have a bed. I used to wet the, the tub. My mom made my bed in the tub. So I wouldn't ruin no more fucking mattresses and shit. You, you ruin a mattress. It's good thinking. Fuck yeah. Damn near innovative. My mom was innovative. Mm -hmm. So James was 16. His mom hated the fact that he kept fucking urinating in the bed every fucking night. I'm assuming he was 16 at the time. Fuck yeah, he was 16. So his mom hated that shit. She was a bad mama. A fucking bad mama. She calls him basically to piss on himself constantly. You can force the piss out of somebody by your actions, by how you treat them you force their brain to continue to do shit that you don't want them to fucking do. He urinated in the bed every fucking night. His mom was fucking evil. She was a mean ass lady. So here's what she would do. She would take his sheets from last night and hang them out the window and let people of the neighborhood see his pissy ass goddamn sheets. It's horrible. He was walking home from school one day. The sheet is hanging out the window. And you couldn't even blame the shit on anything else. You couldn't say, oh, that's lemonade, you know, because lemonade and piss are close. And apple juice too. Yeah. You know how many times you can mistake a uh, urine sample for apple juice? Easily. Fucking easily. I think it's almost a bigger problem if you're spilling lemonade in your bed every night. Like you pee, I get it, but who would just keep spilling beverages in their bed every night? Well, maybe you don't have a little tray to put the shit on. Anyway, so his mom would hang his sheets out the window and let the sheets blow in the wind so everyone could see my son. She was trying to force him to not piss in the bed. So he saw this. So guess what he started doing? This little motherfucker started running home from school every day. So he would beat his classmates so they wouldn't walk past his home and see this fucking sheet blowing around like a goddamn flag and shit, like a piss flag. A lot of baggage for that kid to carry. That's Fuck rough. Yeah, it fucked with his head. So James started running home every day, fucking running home every fucking day, all school year, to beat his schoolmates from walking down past his home, running the house, running upstairs, running his room, snatch the sheet out the window. Every fucking day. Even on weekends, it didn't fucking matter. He didn't want anyone to see those pissy ass sheets. And guess what, Miles? What? His life became his practice. This little motherfucker, James, at 16 years old, became a track star. This little motherfucker ran every day. He ran full fucking speed. The only thing that would have slowed that motherfucker down is if you threw a few hurdles. You know what I mean? Like, just threw a few hurdles on the sidewalk. Make that motherfucker jump. You know what I mean? That might have slowed him down a little bit. But this motherfucker would run. And this motherfucker became a fucking world-class track star because his mama would hang his sheets out the fucking window. See what I'm saying? All right. So first, I just thought you were telling me about an old bad movie. But I feel like you brought this back. You brought it home. 